Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome again to another video. My name is Dr. Lee, and today I will be showing you how to give a modified bed bath according to Prometric guidelines. We will be bathing the face, the arm, the neck, behind the ears, chest, abdomen, back, and finishing up with the back rub. So, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. You're welcome to leave any comments that you may have or any questions that you have for me concerning this skill. Okay, with that being said, oh, one other thing I wanna say. With Prometric, we all know that the first skill we will get when we're doing our nurse aid exam is hand washing. The evaluator will grade you as you wash your hands. A part of the indirect care skills is knowing when to wash your hands during uh, a skill as you're taking your state exam and also talking to your patient. I am going to assume for this skill that the evaluator has told me that I can assimilate hand washing, which means I do not have to physically go to the sink and wash my hands. I'm just going to say I wash my hands. So you will hear me say that throughout the, uh, the demonstration of this skill. So with that being said, I'm going to start going to the patient room and we'll start the demonstration now. your door to provide for privacy. Hi, Miss Mary. My name is Dr. Lee. So I'm here to give you a modified bath. So I'll be washing your face, arm, hand, underarm, neck, behind the ears, your chest, your abdomen, and your back. And we're going to end it up with a back rub. Okay. So is that all right with you? Great. Fantastic. What I'm going to do now is close my curtain to provide for privacy. I'll gather my supplies, and then we'll be back and get started. I'm going to close the curtain to provide for privacy. At this point, if the evaluator has not told you that you can assimilate hand washing, you're going to come over to the sink and wash your hands the proper way. Okay. But the evaluator has told me that I can assimilate hand washing, so I'm going to say I'm washing my hands. At this point, I'm going to consider my hands clean. I'm going to go to the patient's um, chest or wherever the linen cart is or the towels, bank, blankets, bath basin, things like that, wherever that is located and pick up my supplies. So for this patient, she has it right here in her room. I'm gathering three bath towels. One of the bath towels is for me to put on my table as a protective barrier so that I can keep my table clean. I'm gonna go ahead on and put my two bath towels down. I have five washcloths. One, two, three, four, five. And just because I like to change them up so that the towel doesn't get cold. I have a gown. Anytime you're doing modified bath, you're going to have to change the gown on the patient. I'm going to put this under the bottom because I'll use that last. A pair of gloves. So I also need a bath blanket. I need my basin, soap, and lotion. So I'm going to gather that. My bath blanket, I'm just gonna set this at the foot of the bed. I have lotion, soap, and lotion. Now, I need to go to the sink to put water into my basin. And I'm only gonna put about a fourth of a basin full of water. Remember, I have already washed my hands. My hands are clean. So I will turn on the water faucets with paper towels because the handles to the, um, to the water faucet are dirty. My hands are clean, so I'm gonna use paper towels.
I take the paper towel, I put that in the trash. Now I'm going to gather my water, about a fourth of a basin full. Once I have that, I'm going to leave the water running, put the basin over to the side. I like to get an extra paper towel because now I am going to test the water. Now, there are different ways that you can test the water. I've seen some people take their elbow, dip it in, and test the water. I like to test the water with my hand, so I'm going to put my hand in and let the evaluator know I am testing the water. The water feels comfortable to me. I got the paper towel so that I can dry my hands after I have tested the water. Again, to turn the water off, I'm going to get two paper towels, one for each handle, to turn the water off. These paper towels will go into the trash. And for me, this is not a requirement for Prometrics, but I like to bring over an extra a paper towel so that when the patient tests the water, I will have a paper towel for the patient to dry his or her hands with. Okay. Now we go back to the patient's room. Hi, Miss Mary, I'm back. Let me kind of move this back so I can protect my basin. I'm going to just put my paper towel here. I'm going to put my gloves on. And I'm going to be talking to my patient throughout this procedure. Remember, this is a part of your indirect care and you will be graded on indirect care for all of your skills with Prometric. Miss Mary, hi, I'm back. I want you to test the water, please. Okay, I'm gonna bring it over. If you can put your hand in. Okay, is that pretty good? All right, that's comfortable for you. I have a paper towel here for you to dry your fingers with. Great. I'm gonna put this back over here. My paper towel that she dried her hands with, I'll just set that there. Miss Mary, I wanna go ahead on and untie your gown in the back so that we can just kind of get it loosened up here. Let's put your call light right over here. Well, I'll give that back to you before I go. I have a bath blanket that I want to put over you, Miss Mary, so that we can keep you warm and dry. I unfold the bath blanket. I do not fan fold it up in the air because that's um, a way that people spread germs. So I'm going to unfold the bath blanket over the patient. Miss Mary, if you can hold this bath blanket up around your neck, what I'm going to do is take your top sheet and fold it down to around about your knees so that we don't get it wet during your bath, okay? All right, I'm just folding this, bringing the top sheet down. Good job. I appreciate you working with me today. Come down just a little bit more. And get it out of the way so we don't want your linen wet. The next thing I want to do is I want to take one of the towels, the bath towels. I'm using a bath towel. I'm going to have the patient raise up. I'm going to put this bath towel under the patient when she raises up so that her head and neck is covered. It's like a linen, I'm using it as a linen protector. So her head and neck will be covered. Her back, when I turn her to her side, and also her arm. This way I keep the bottom sheet protected. Miss Mary, can I please have you just kind of sit up a little bit so that I can put a linen protector on you and we can protect your bottom sheet and your pillow case from getting wet, okay? On the count of three, I want you to raise up. One, two, three. Good job, Miss Mary. You are just fantastic today. All right, great. Great. Now, as you can tell, by placing that towel 
under her. I am protecting her neck and her head from um, water getting onto the bottom sheet and the pillowcase when I give her a bath. And also, move this over just a tad. You can see her arm is laying on a linen protector. So when I bathe her arm, I won't get the bottom sheet wet. Okay, hopefully you all can see this. So I have this up under her. Okay. Keeping you covered, Miss Mary, I'm going to take your gown out. I've already untied it in the back. If you can bend your arm, great. I'm going to slide this gown across your chest, leaving the bath blanket over you. I'm going to reach over and grab the gown, leaving you covered. And we're just gonna slide that out. Okay, you still comfortable? Great, I'm gonna go put this into your linen hamper and I'll be right back. It's just at the foot of your bed. Great. Okay, now we're ready to get started. I'm going to put my towels into the basin of water. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I like to let them sit in there and get wet. When I start the bath, I always start with the face. That's important. Always start with the face. And I always start with a certain part of the face, and that is the eyes. You wanna go from the inner canthus to the outer canthus of each eye. What are we saying here? You always wipe away from an opening. That's to prevent infections. Wipe away from an opening. Turn my towel, get the other eye, wipe away from an opening. That's very important. So I'm gonna take my towel and fold it in half. Then I'm going to fold it in half again. This gives me approximately five areas of this cloth that I can use. One, two, three, four, and then the back of this, five. And that's what I will be using for her face. For the face, we do not put soap on the face because a lot of people have facial allergies and we just don't use soap for the face. So I'm going to wipe her face off and then dry her face. And remember, you must talk to your patient while you're doing your procedure. Miss Mary, hi, I'm back. I have my towel. I want to start with your eyes. If you can close your eyes first. Great, I'm gonna do one eye starting at the bridge of the nose and wipe it out. Very good. I'm gonna get the second eye. Miss Mary, if you can close your eye. Good job. Bridge of the nose, wipe away. My third one, I'm gonna wipe one half of the face. Fourth one, second half of the face. And remember I said the back for five, I'm gonna take that part and just go straight down the middle. Since this towel does not have soap on it, I'm gonna put it back into the basin. I can reuse it. Whatever I wet, I must dry. Remember that rule. Whatever you wet, you need to dry. So now I'm going to take a towel and just pat dry her face. Okay? That part is done. I'll put my towel here. Miss Mary, I'm going to uncover one arm. I already have it laying on a linen protector. And we're just going to dress, kind of fold your bath blanket over. I want to wash the patient's full arm on both, both sides, including the hand and underarm.
Okay. I'll wring out some water. And now I'm going to use my soap and just get a little bit. You don't need a lot here. So one little squirt will do. I'm going to disperse the soap throughout my towel. Again, I'm going to fold my towel in half. And then in half again. Okay. So for this first part, I'm going to start at the shoulder bone right here and come all the way down the arm and include the hand fingers. Okay. Miss Mary, I'm going to be raising your arm, supporting it. I'm starting at your shoulder and I'm going to come all the way down one long stroke and make sure you get the fingers fold that part over. I'm going to do the opposite part of the arm all the way down and I'm kind of like grabbing half of the arm because I did the first half include the fingers palm and come all the way out. That's two. The third one, I'm going to get under the arm, in the uh, armpit. Miss Mary, I'm going to be getting your armpit. Okay, great. Now I have one more left. If you want to do anything special, I may come again and make sure I have the palm of the hand. And on the back of that, put it over and get the fingers real good. This is my first towel. Because this towel has soap on it, I'm not going to put it back in the basin. I'm going to put this over to the side. Go to my basin again. This is towel number two. Folded. Fold in half again. And I'm going to repeat this procedure. Support the arm. Start at the shoulder and I'm coming all the way down, including the fingers. Okay. Flip my towel over so I have another area of the washcloth. Get the other half of the arm. Come all the way down, including the palm and fingers. Okay. Now I have two parts left. I'm going to take this part go back in the armpit and get that soap. Miss Mary, we're almost through with the arm. Now, my fourth one, I'm going to come in, do this palm and fingers. And on the back of the fourth one, I'll just get the front part and fingers again. All right. This doesn't have any soap on it, I just rinsed it. I can either put it back in the basin and use it later in case I need another towel. But for now, I brought over five towels, so I'm conf confident that I have enough towel. I'm gonna set this one over here. I washed, I rinsed, and now I need to dry. You wash first, then rinse, then dry. So now I'm gonna take my dry towel, the same one I used to dry the face with, I'm gonna dry under the armpit. And I like to just wrap it around the patient's arm so that I can dry the whole arm, make sure I dry the fingers, get between the web of the fingers. And I am through with my patient's arm, armpit and hand. And I kept the patient laying on a protective barrier. Now I'm going to do the chest, abdomen, neck and behind the ears. I have three towels left in my basin. I'm going to wring out the excess soap. I'm going to put soap on this new towel. I'm going to work it into my towel, disperse it real good. Okay, remember I have those five parts of the towel that I can use. 
So I'm going to start, Miss Mary, we're going to bring this down just a little bit so that your neck is, is exposed. I'm going to get the front part of the neck and behind the ears. Miss Mary, you turn your head toward me just a little bit. I'm going to get behind the ears, come across the front of the patient, get the neck, and then come get behind the opposite ear. Fold my towel. At this part, I'm gonna take this towel and go around the chest and abdomen up under the bath blanket so that I keep the patient covered. Miss Mary, I'm gonna be raising up the bath blanket here and I'm gonna wash your chest and abdomen. All right, great, great job. I take this soapy towel. I do not put the soapy towel in the water. It goes to the side. That's three towels to the side. I have two towels left. This towel I will use for rinsing and I will follow the same steps as I use for bathing. In half, in half again, I'm gonna come around the person's neck in the front and behind the ears to get the soap. Miss Mary, bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna come behind your ear and get that soap, go across your neck and behind the other ear. Fold that away. Now I'm gonna come under the bath blanket and get the chest and abdomen. Miss Mary, we're gonna raise up your covers a little bit and I'm going to get your abdomen and chest and get all of that soap off, making sure you get on the side all around that abdomen and chest, okay? So this was my rinse towel. My rinse towel, because it doesn't have any soap in it, I didn't squirt soap on it, I'm gonna put this back into the basin so that I can use it when I do the back. I have two towels left with this one. So back in the basin. Whatever I wet, I need to do what? Dry. So I have washed, rinsed, the next thing I need to do is to dry that area. Miss Mary, I'm gonna, I have a towel here. We're gonna dry behind both ears. And let me get the front part of your neck. Great. Now I'm gonna raise the cover up and I'm gonna dry your chest and abdomen area. Okay, good. I appreciate you helping me. All right, now, I need to turn you over so that I can do your back and also I want to give you a back rub. But you're in the middle of the bed. To keep the patient in a safe position at this point, because you're getting ready to turn the patient, I will tell the patient that I want the patient to scoot toward me, move over toward me, and then we will position the patient on the side. We must make sure that the patient does not turn and is toward the edge of the bed. That would be placing the patient in an unsafe position, okay? Miss Mary, I'm gonna come behind you and I would like for you to scoot toward me. You're gonna move toward me on the count of three. And after that, then we will position you onto your side so that you're facing that wall, okay? Here we go, on the count of three, just move toward me. One, two, three. Great, great. Okay, now, if you can put your hand across your chest, good job. And on the count of three, I want you to turn and we're gonna to turn toward that wall, okay? One, two, three, great. You must keep the patient covered. You only uncover the area that you're working to, working with. Because I'm only gonna be doing the back and the neck, I do not need to see the person's buttocks and the legs. So I'm going to raise the cover up keeping my patient covered and only expose the area that I'm working with. This is called not overexposing the patient. And I still have my linen protector here, so I'm gonna make sure it's up under her so that I can finish my procedure and not get the bottom sheet wet, okay? When you're testing, the evaluator can help hold the mannequin over if that's necessary, okay? I have two towels left. 
So this is the rinse towel that I use for the chest and abdomen. So I'm just gonna wring this out. Now I'm going to put soap onto this towel. Just a little bit, okay? Work it in. All right, now I'm gonna fold the towel in half so I have those four pieces that I've been using throughout this demonstration. I need to get the back of the neck. Miss Mary, you fill a towel. I'm gonna do the back of your neck and then I'll do your back. And this is, I'm washing it. I'm applying the soap to it now. Get the back of the neck, fold the towel. Now I'm gonna come through and just do the whole back, okay? Take the soapy towel, it goes with the rest of the towel. I have one towel left. This will be to rinse the soap off of the back. Miss Mary, you'll feel me touching you again. I'm going to get the soap off of your neck. And now we're going to wipe the soap off of your back. Okay, great. I'm going to dry your back and your neck. And I'm just gonna make the towel kind of big. I can get the back and neck together and I'll just kind of pat dry it. Okay, now that that is all done, I can give the patient a back rub at this uh, time. So I have my lotion. You always put the lotion into the palm of your hand and rub it together, that's one way to do it. Or you can take the bottle of lotion and you could have set it into a bucket of warm water so that the lotion um, was getting warm. I like to, it's just easier for me to bring the lotion over, squirt it into my hand, rub it, and then put the lotion on the patient. I start at the, uh, the bottom, at the bottom of the back, above the buttocks, and I'm gonna be going up the back in a circular motion and come back down and do that again. And you only have to do it a couple of times, okay? But uh, giving the patient a back rub is a part of this um, procedure, okay? So Miss Mary, I have some lotion. I've already tried to warm it up with my hands. So we're gonna be starting at the lower part of your back, going around in a circle, up by your shoulders, come back down, go up your back, around in a circle, and come back down. Great. Now I have done the face, the arm, the hand, the armpit, the chest, the abdomen, the neck, and the ears. I have washed everything that Prometric wanted me to do for the bath part. Since the patient is already on the side, I'm gonna go ahead on and take this linen protector. Ms. Mary, if you can just kind of raise up a little bit, raise your head because I don't want to forget it and leave it on the bed. Take that off. Miss Mary, on the count of three, get your back covered up. I'm gonna turn you back toward me, okay? One, two, three, good job. Now, on the count of three, we're gonna scoot you back over to the middle of the bed, okay? One, two, three, good, thank you so much. I need to put a hospital gown on the patient. We're gonna open it up. Miss Mary, I'm gonna slide this gown under your bath blanket so I can get half of it on one side of, of you and the other half over here by me. All right. Okay, great. Miss Mary, if I can have you raise this arm up, I'll help you. I wanna get your arm through the sleeve. Great. And we'll put it back under the cover. And let's get your other arm. Okay, have a gown here. Bring it through the opening of the gown. Great. Okay, let's get you back under that cover. Okay, Miss Mary, I'm gonna raise your head just a little bit so I can bring this tie over. 
you will need to secure the gown on test state in the back. All right. Now that I have that done, leave the bath blanket on the patient. Miss Mary, I'm going to come under the cover and bring your top sheet back up over you, leaving you covered. Now that I have the patient covered back with the top sheet, I'm going to remove the bath blanket. I'm gonna fold it away from me. The dirty side is always fold inward. And I'll put this over here, kind of straighten out the patient's bed. Miss Mary, I have your call light here so that you can call me if you need anything. I'll put it right here by your hand. Where's your hand at, right here? Okay, I'm gonna give you your call light. If you need anything, you can push that button and call me, okay? Make sure your gown is down. Okay, great. Is there anything I can get for you before I go? Would you like the lights off? Are your TV on? Are you comfortable in bed? Do you need to go up a little bit or anything? You're good? Okay, great. I'm gonna go ahead on, I'll be putting up my supplies and be sure and call me if you need anything. At this point, I'm pretty much through with doing things for the patient as a part of indirect care. Once I finish my procedure, I check with the patient to see if there's any needs that the patient may have. That will be important when you're doing your skills. I will open the curtain. Now I need to put up these things into the dirty clothes hamper. I'm gonna take my towels, put them over here. My lotion and soap, I'll just put over here for the time being. I'm gonna take my basin, bring to the sink area, paper towel. This towel I'm going to Put in a dirty hamper. Okay. I'm going to empty. I'm going to rinse. And if you notice, I touched the uh, water faucet handles with my gloved hand. That's because my hands are dirty and the handles are dirty. So I can touch them. Turn it on, get my rinse water. Rinse out my basin, empty the basin. I can turn the water off. I'm going to dry the basin. Put back my soap and my lotion. This would go into the patient's cabinet. At this point, I want to look around the room to make sure that I picked up everything. The patient has a call light. I open the curtain back up. And I'm going through the steps in my head just to make sure I've done everything that I'm supposed to do before I say I'm through with my skill. Okay? So I feel comfortable. Everything is up. I didn't leave soap or lotion out. The table is dry, the patient has the call light. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take my gloves off and put the gloves into the trash. When I put the gloves in the trash, I need to immediately say I'm washing my hands. After I've washed my hands, at that point, I can look at the evaluator and say I'm through with my skills, okay? So that was a demonstration on how to provide a modified bed bath according to Prometric standards. I hope that was clear for you. Again, if you liked the video, appreciate a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I upload more videos. Welcome to put any comments down below. Okay, this is Dr. Lee and I'll see you in the next video.